Tis Ex Machina. Oh, it's so nice to hear it. Hi, Ooh, everybody. It's pretty music. Oh, Hello, yeah, everyone. Nice music. We finally We're fixed talking. the thing with the uh, Discord. Yep. You did? Yeah. Just took pixie dust and dreams. What? What? ended up being the solution or is it something that you can put into words uh, I can put those? it into words because it was apparently simple I just had to pick the correct <laughs> answer out of about 7 trillion possibilities and oh. the answer this time was apparently to uh, change my network's DNS I see <laughs> Nice. good to know good to know important safety tip don't cross the streams and always trust Google apparently uh. <laughs> You know, I was poking around on Reddit. I was I was poking around on Reddit, trying like like the Twitch Reddit and stuff. And you know, I just, I should be used at this point. By this point, I should be used to how like how much noise, like the noise to signal ratio on Reddit. But my God, Anyway, here we are back to the uh, the the figure out the squiggles game. Yeah. Oh, and actually, after after um, mute for one second. Er, holy. Yeah. Start this session by going over several of my old translations to see if I can get anything better. I think showed me a passage from the Annals of Mazo Mazabai. We know this one is Empress. Banished? What's this one related to? Don't know. <laughs> Fingers 2413 says, the important thing is that it is fixed and you will never have another issue ever again. That's always the nice thing about fixing things, isn't it? <laughs> they stay fixed forever! <laughs> You'll like this one's holy, but... The game's making me doubt it because it hasn't confirmed it yet. Uh, let's see. Got the forget hat. So the we know this is there. goddess, and the last particle, the uh, last part of this word right here is goddess. Right. Um. Got some of the stuff from forget. But it's in a different order. I think pilgrims. Sure. I mean, they, yeah, sure. <laughs> pilgrims. Right. Pray. Let's see. Yeah, again. God, Last part of cry. it is goddess. Uh, follow, maybe. I don't know. I, yeah, I still think it's pray because I think it's it's like talk to goddess, yeah. or talk to God. Yeah, that makes sense. Talk to deity. Do. See, this one I don't like because we have our related words are all, like, maybes, and so it's kind of hard to yeah. extrapolate on that. This one found carved above the hearth. This one we have several ones that we've actually confirmed. Blesses. Uh, healed? Uh, sure. There's a bit of a hearth. Hmm. Wait, it's found carved above the hearth? Then yeah. maybe it's bless fire. Uh, we haven't even started on this one. They gave us this one. And... It's got the goddess hat oh. 
or no, actually no. Don't have any over. related words apparently to that one. Hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, let's say fire. Water goddess blesses fire? No, oh, that'd be weird, I'm... wouldn't it? Water goddess yeah. blesses fire. But on the other hand, you do notice how this is related to fire. To You have this, 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 this. That one's yeah. water. Is that one fire? Oh, yeah, I see what you're saying. The, the, the two tildies versus the two lightning bolts. Is one yeah, of that, those. You know what? That actually. This is fire. Then maybe. maybe so these blessings. particles indicate an element, perhaps. Yeah. No, that that tracks, and the the symbols look sort of water and fireish. The, now I'm wondering about blesses. You know, I mean. No blesses. They confirmed it. I think if you get it, okay. I think if you get it correct like three times in a row, she just goes ahead and confirms it for you. Okay. Yeah, there's no question mark on the word, then that means that word is what that transliteration is. Oh, interesting. All right. Fishes of great value. Banished. This was the coffer lid that was holding the crown. Yeah, that tracks. Sure, you can see the. So the this could be enormous. Tracks. Yeah, yeah, sure. That would that would that would work too. This one was on the coin. Yeah. Found Ash into the dry channel. We got water separates us. Uh, <laughs> water joins us. Um, well, let's see. Are there any. Okay, so it was between the house and the shrine. Those two things mm. bracketing the tilde mean water, mean element. Not quite. It's not the same thing. All right. Emperor's new groove. Emperor's never twist. The <laughs> rude mm, twist. Just gotta, <laughs> gotta, gotta turn him a little harder. What kind of game is this? Is this like a linguistics puzzle? Yeah, so we're basically an archaeologist in this game, and we're trying to uncover a current mystery that's going on while also deciphering uh, words of this ancient language. Basically, so. it's just a uh, game of context here, a bit like uh, Return of the Obra Dinn. Just yeah. trying to figure out the context of all these things and see if it the game eventually says, oh, you got it correct. <laughs> Oberdin, Oberdin is definitely the closest analogy, I would say, to this game. I'll live forever. Live a, I feel pretty solid about live and all. Look, there's okay. the quantity thing again. Yeah, but instead of, like, the swirl on this side, it's okay, two strokes. So, yeah, so yeah. So if we said that the other thing for fire is supposed to be, like, another element, then this is also an element. Instead of water oh, no, and fire. Because the elements had, else. like, the little, have no, this right, little swirl right here. But it does ha right, end right. with the comma sort of thing. Yeah, ends with the comma, starts with the bracket from protects, and then the middle one looks like a combination of water and fire. Which... Makes me think. I don't know. I, could, I, could I mean, light, live probably does work for that if it's supposed to be a combination of water and fire. Yeah, yeah. That's a general understanding of what I would say most this one was cultures the... attribute life to. Yeah, that's fair. Again, this one was over the, on the lintel over the door. 
the double circle, Miller, didn't you suggest the double circle is like a negator or something like that? That's what I, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Because never. Because we did confirm never. Right, right. And it has that. Right. So it's like negated is. Mm -hmm. And it's got the little value swiggy. Ah, the value swiggy. Look, I don't know I, how to words, okay? How to words. How to words. How to words by Dr. Uh, Dr. Seuss. Yeah, that one's my Do we need favorite. to do we need to decipher these right now or are we able to continue no, collecting just, more clues? I was just doing this to uh get my brain back into the space. <laughs> no, fair enough. Excuse me. Mm. They being material derived from waterlogged mud. Apparently, it takes something like a thousand years to get a few inches of topsoil built up. Okay, I'll start working on it. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. You're talking about across an entire planet, though. Yeah. I mean, I imagine it would... Yeah, I, I mean, I guess it would be a little bit faster if it was a small location. I don't know. I, I don't usually hang around soil very much. <laughs> that made no sense. Or did it? We are receiving a message. Fine. Huh. Hmm. Funny how they call it a celebration. It's funny how the uh, game wants us to be suspicious <laughs> of going back. Well, Miller, if they called it a bloodbath, nobody, nobody would want to come. I would. You have the site from the mural. We can go to Miracy or Elbereth. Or isn't EOX the uh, our university? Yeah, or the university. There, C. Return the figurine found outside the hermitage where Runeba died to its rightful owners. Could go there. Elbereth, friend the mechanist, lives in the citadel in Elbereth. She'd want to take a look at this crown and see what it does. Also, I'd like to know why John Key is type from the mural. Go swag. Hmm. Okay. Man, it'd be really nice if we could just go through Mercy, drop off the thing, and then continue on to Eox, but the direction of the currents makes that really troublesome. Uh, you just like loop back around once you're done. <laughs> go to Mercy first.
We set course once more for Mayersey. I found myself looking forward to it. It was a good place, despite the people. I don't know if I would have. I would trust a spaceship that's over a millennia old. Especially since it sounds like they don't know how to build these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, there's um, there's like a colonial era ship that's still technically in service. It's docked in like. I, don't know, I think it's it's somewhere on the east coast. Um, and uh, the USS Constitution. That's what it's, <laughs> it was one of those old iron sites. And it was launched in 1797. Oh, apparently it's a museum ship, but it's still technically in service. One of those things where it's like, if we have a global EMP blast, the Navy's gonna like, we got one final chance. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a great movie. Starring Nicolas Cage. <laughs> Man. My God, I the aliens you. have destroyed all <laughs> electronics in the world. We're gonna have to fight them with this old colonial ship. The soft, wet wind of Mayersey hadn't seemed gentle before. Ray says, congrats on selling out of hotcakes, I Jonas. Really had like uh, thanks. Place. Yes, Wes has morphed into Robert. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I had the clay figurine with me, in my bag, wrapped up safely in a cloth.
everything on Mayersey was as we'd left it. The flowers still bloomed. The water still bubbled. And I'm sure all the Mayersians would say it's no thanks to you. N Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's in the box. It's in the box. <laughs> More inscriptions! Hooray! All right, let's that's see. that's Who what we're here this? for. Who could have predicted this? Okay. Us. Okay, so water. we got water there. There's us. us. And. And. Labor. Oh. Water something us and something us. Ding. All right. Um, let's see. Here okay, so we have two marks, one mark again. Oh. Hold on, so are these two words very oh, yeah, similar? Oh, separate, join. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna... Yeah. And... <laughs> ah. No, you know that. Yeah, yeah. Ding. The double tick and the single tick. They're like subjects. I don't want any ticks. Thank you. Look, I, it's either that or I call them Jiggy Doos, okay, Stoker? <laughs> Make a choice. Call them what, Jonas? Jiggy Doos. Me, me. <laughs> Look, don't be jealous just because you can't invent amazing words with the blinding speed of my brain. My crazy genius brain. Magoga, see there, I did one just now. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting to see if you'd say anything else. <laughs> I just added that to the English language. That's that's how copyright works. Um, <laughs> Basky foil is a small scrap of metal inscribed in enormous detail like one of your fingerprints. But I'm assuming it's going to be like... Yeah, is it a like microchip a microchip or something? Yeah. That makes sense. Or possibly a memory card. Yeah, I'm gonna say, is it an identification piece? Is it a memory thing? Is it a processing thing? Well, if it's foil I don't know. So you think it's like maybe like a high tech item? Well, we know it's a high tech item because he said it's the internal part of the internals of a robot. Oh yeah, I did say that. Didn't I?
Wait, the book that has stuff about the loop became popular after the Holy Empire took power? Then what was the holy part of the Holy Empire? Hmm. The world may never know. But what if I want to know? Nope. Rude. Shmaguga. Yeah, Tempo, think of this like a adventure game. Uh, but the main mechanic of it is a linguistics puzzle. Where oh. we're having to decipher this long dead language. My mom would love this. <laughs> She'd be all over this. I mean, she doesn't... She, she doesn't play video games, but she's a, she uh, speaks like four languages. She loves language stuff. Okay, I was going to say, like, uh, is your mom working language or something? She used TTSL. She's retired now. Um, she's sort of informally teaching English in, uh, down in Mexico. Does that mean she's, like, super kicked back when she teaches it? Cause yeah, she's thank you. She's got her feet up on the it. table. Um <laughs> No, she's been teaching like you know, like little neighborhood kids for free and stuff like that. You wander all around here. I'm not sure if there's actually anything to find though. They're breaking vases. Oh, is there an inscription on the well? Oh, what do we got? This one is a broken piece from an even longer phrase. Oh, I wonder. Yes. Uh. Holy water, holy water, guys. Okay. That's pretty straightforward. Hooray, we can be actually confirmed with that. Okay, so articles and stuff are not always going to be written out? Well, it looks like the articles aren't written out, period. Right. Yeah, let's go. Merci. Merci beaucoup.
Since it's customary to ask, how's everybody in the chat tonight? I'm doing pretty okay, thank you for asking. You're not in the chat. I am in the chat in spirit. You're not even in the stream, who are you? Uh, I'm Batman. I knew it. Boxer's right, Stoker. Fine. Oh. Yeah, didn't think I could actually do it, did you? Mm. Well, now the shoe is on the <laughs> other hand. You wear you win this round. I, wear I was gonna I was gonna try to purge your message after you said <laughs> something, but I can't do that to other mods. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> hoisted by your own hoister. Hoisted by your own hoisin sauce. Hoisted okay. by my own pit pitards. Hoisted by my own Picard season three. For the longest time, I thought Petard was like a kind of suspender. That I, it's like I just somebody assumed... grabbed your suspenders and pulled them up. I just assumed it was yet another slang for uh, buttocks. Nope, a petard is an explosive device. It is. Oh, that's right. Because you're, if you're too close to it, you get. Yeah, because if you're an idiot, you stand next to your explosive when it goes off and it throws you out. Therefore, you're hoisted by your own petard. But Miller, that's the fun way to travel. Only Link can do something like that. Where he bomb jumps. God. Plenty of people can do it, Miller. It's just sometimes you don't survive. <laughs> I was gonna say sometimes. Hey, are y'all pumped about Tears of the Kingdom? It's oh, comes yeah, that's out right. basically right next to my birthday, so uh yeah. <laughs> well, we know what to get Miller for his birthday. <laughs> Freaking uh, bird dad. Bird dad. Yeah, I forgot his name. You mean Cass? <laughs> yes, that's the one. <laughs> bird dad. Listen, am I wrong? It, I mean, you are literally not wrong because he is canonically a father. Like, you meet his wife and children in that game. Yeah. God. See? He's bird dad. No. Money sculpture. Uh, I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna. I'm gonna go with you. This is very but... close to gods. That's true. You get yeah. me closer to gods. Uh, my intuition says you, but I'm not sure. It looks a lot like we. Yeah, that's very similar to we too. Muzu says February 1st is their birthday. Well, you'll be excited to know that we're going to play uh, your most requested game on that day. And by your most requested game, I mean Hasty Night, because that's the only thing we're going to play on that day. Yes. Yeah. Chapter 4. Which we know that we know Maxi has been laboring very diligently on. This yes. is true. Yeah. I love that he came into the, the chat to remind us personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was, nice that was very man. sweet. It was really nice, man. He came in and gave me a You, uh, you know where you're going right now, Rick? Do any of us really know where we're going? I mean, no, not in general, but I think the video game could be a little more specific. Nah. Six. 
Rick's uh Rick's stuck on the 101. He's uh, you know. Oh god, don't ever get stuck on the 101. You'll be there for 3 hours. <laughs> Actually, really pushes like the voice acting to like this bombastic level, so I'm expecting everyone to scream. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's how you do it, man. <laughs> right? Like the best I mean, part of that uh, game. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like, quality the screaming. Well, that and like the crazy colors, just oh. and the outfits. The little, the little teaser he gave with um, Lynn being just like this uh, beach episode. <laughs> Lynn is the best. <laughs> I mean, all of them are the best, but Lynn is even more the best. He's the besterer. The besterer. Do we want to show her the crown? It keeps it keeps teasing us with this, like we shouldn't be showing her the crown. Uh I don't know. Uh, maybe not. No, nah, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Chat, 
Yep, Jonas is showing me his nugs. <laughs> <laughs> Jonas, Jonas just messaged me on Telegram and sent me unsolicited nug pictures. <laughs> Jonas, that's not legal in his state. You stop that. I can't believe you would just send me your nugs like that. If you keep doing that, he's going to get arrested for digital possession. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Digital possession of them sweet, sweet nugs. <laughs> God. Fuck. Call the internet police. See, I'm making it a drugs thing, and I have to expect Jonas to actually be like, no, it's just chicken nuggets. No, it's... <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like a normal map um, on, a, on, like, a gold texture. So it looks like... It, it looks oh. like, you know... Gold nuggets. Gold nuggets. Yeah. Nuggets. Beaver nuggets. Be yes, beaver nuggets. Boy, that's a that's a thing you don't want to hear. I mean, it sure depends. Is. If you're in Texas, it's actually a very nice thing to hear. They're quite delicious. Is this like Rocky Mountain oysters or anything? I mean? They're not actually made of beaver, are they? Uh, there's a beaver on the package. The library. That no, doesn't like answer the question. <laughs> it's like a it's like a puff corn snack. Oh, okay. It's like it's like think of a puff Cheeto except instead of cheese dust, it's got like caramel. Don't you guys like eat armadillos and shit? No. <laughs> yeah, no. you do. Come no, on, you eat the armadillos. I've come across armadillos, armadillos several times before, but I've not I mean, eaten one. They come with they come with their own balls. <laughs> Oh no, Jonas! <laughs> There's already one monster on this stream. <laughs> I've seen uh, rattlesnake get served more often as like a local exotic meat that you can get. It's like chicken. Yeah, right? people do eat rattlesnake. People eat alligator sometimes too. Yeah, <laughs> I would think that's Tastes more like common chicken, around your neck of the woods. A, yes. Tastes a little bit like chicken, but with a weird texture. Tastes like water chicken. Yes, thank you. It tastes like the water chicken that eats you. Make a sign that says he's never been to a Bucky's. It's good. It's if you're going anywhere oh, between big cities. That's Beaver Bucky Beaver. Okay. Yeah. Yes, Bucky, the gas station brand. Beaver is their mascot. They have their own brand of snacks. One yes. of them is called okay. Beaver Nuggets. Okay, I should have I should have guessed that. Yeah, Bucky's is an experience. Mm -hmm. it's, um, I definitely want to take everyone there at TFF. It's the weirdest thing to be like, oh, it's a gas station. You all should experience it. Yeah. But you kind of should. I want to take us to the gas station. Everybody hop in. We're going to Bucky's. I mean, literally, I plan on doing that. Just pull up in front of the hotel be like hey get your ass in the car we're going to Bucky's is it you just you you pull in you do like that Akira slide thing but you're doing it with your car instead <laughs> you throw the door open you're like fuck you we're going to Bucky's <laughs> god doing a doing a Akira slide in a fucking fifteen thousand dollar Honda oof <laughs> be amazing you know you, you get out the, you get out the big shoulder mounted laser and start shooting Tetsuo and you know well, that's just normal Texas stuff. <laughs> yeah, we don't have laser pointers like other states. You know, everything everything's bigger in Texas, so we have the shoulder-mounted lasers. Shoulder-mounted <laughs> laser cannons. Exactly. That's how they do presentations. It's, uh, it's protected by the First Amendment. <laughs> <laughs> excuse you. Excuse you. Second Amendment. Biggest one out oh. there. Most important one. Because my guns. I, I meant to say if, second if the amendment. Government I... ever, if the government ever tries to take control and they come to attack us with their fighter jets and their nuclear bombs, I'm going to fight them off with my AR-15. Oh my god. Because that's how that works. I know how to do a war. I had one Friday joke that Texas' flag is like the large print American flag. The large print? Oh, because... <laughs> <laughs> I get it. <laughs> Manning says, I want to hear some little-known trivia about Fiesta. Sure. I assume you mean 
Texas for a Fiesta. Nope, just Fiesta in general. Just Fiesta. Oh, we got to the new. That's a very different kind of glyph. Uh, what is that little debubble on the middle there? That little what? The bibble. <laughs> Can I get that one more time, Jonas? Da bibble. Don't you know? Okay, that's the book it. you read every Sunday. Da bibble. I was about to say, maybe it's the holy bibble. <laughs> okay, so we got one of the girlies from Value and two of the doohickeys from Live. Live? And we have, like, two boxes inside another box. That sounds like contain. Contain? Okay. I, I think it's respect. That would have been says, my. F- it says value think, and like that makes me think respect. It's like hold hold my idea or hold who I am in I value. With, I agree with Miller, but I'm not 100 percent on that. I'm, I'm, it's not push. I don't think it's push. Um, no, yeah, I would agree. It's either contain or respect, but I do think it's respect. Yeah. Very easy. I was thinking that. <laughs> Manic Ascendant says, Furry Fiesta was conceptualized in the back office of the L- of the uh, La Quinta Inn and Suites in Addison, Texas, after the founder, <clears throat> who had staffed Furry That's a long one. in the past, read yet another thread on the Lone Stars Forum, Furs Forum, about why there was no Texas furry, fia- fur- furry convention. I can't read, apparently. No, apparently not. But yes, I can uh, I can easily believe that. Hold on, I'm ho- I I don't want to give up these artifacts. Now I'm starting to think that I actually need to use them for something. It's hard to think that I'm all not to remember when there were two furry conventions. Yeah, John, this jeez. And like, it must be like ten thousand years old or something. Thank you. Yeah, I'm just hold on. I need to crumble the dust over here. Give me a minute. <laughs> okay, you done crumbling yet? <laughs> anyway, um, that was uh, that was some good dust crumbling noise. That's what right people there. sound like when they crumble the dust. <laughs> I mean, Dorian Gray, right? You know. <laughs> you that are you are you going to present us a quote that's like uh, Dorian Gray? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a vowel. Can you uh, can you please write that out for me, Jonas? I need to make sure that I have this properly cited for my essay. <laughs> I am actually taking this game seriously, Rick. I promise. I'm just... <laughs> <clears throat> uh, okay. I was gonna say if we could look at that big sentence that we, that Huang gave us right before we left. <laughs> I'm still thinking about it. Fucking hell. <laughs> we are going to Elbereth. <laughs> I hear you snickering. <laughs> no, just we like, all hear him snickering. We just kind of have to assume this is just normal. I'm just looking at the next conversation. I can't believe you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna post this in chat. <laughs> <clears throat> Wait, the Crown Plaza Hotel in Addison is gone now? What's, what, was that like a landmark or something? 
Well, no, it's where the first Texas furry fiesta. Oh, was. I see. Okay. Yeah, I I was I was at the very first one, uh, and then I was at the very second one, and then I wasn't at any of them for like five years, and then I started coming again. <laughs> I remember because I know I've told the story on the stream before, but people people have to listen to me anyway. So, um, I was always deeply amused that the very first year that TFF happened, we were sharing the hotel space with a dental convention. And uh, man, let me tell you, a lot of them dentists did not like having us there. <laughs> But uh, the dental hygienist kept trying to sneak into the dance, so... That's funny. Look, let's be honest. The dental hygienist dance probably was... The, the, the dental dance probably wasn't nearly as awesome as the furry dance. Yeah, all everybody did was floss. All right. Yeah. <laughs> what if they I was going like, to say, what kind of music they play? Was it shiny teeth in me? What if they <laughs> had big, big tooth suits, you know? Like, no matter what... <laughs> This is my tooth sona. <laughs> and they're just standing there like, man, this, this sucks. I'd rather be in an animal outfit. All the rivers of the nebula flow <laughs> to Iox in the end. If you tie off your sail, Iox Like, no matter what the world. other convention is, they have to wear suits that are like vi visual metaphors for what they do. So, <laughs> it's the if, it's like, works, if it's like, if it's like, if it's like a, like a math convention. If it's like a math convention, they have to wear big number suits, you know, and like, you know, square roots and stuff. That's exactly how it works. <laughs> Zoranian says there is way too ca many canines for them to handle. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, love it. Love it. We landed in the dust outside the great walls of Elbereth. It's like an no architecture. Oh, hang on, that one. The people here only ever look down if there's an architecture convention they all dress as like famous buildings you know so like that. that would be awesome conventions should be like that no matter like <laughs> okay we did awesome. every convention is that way now cool we made it happen we did it did, Go did team. it teamwork makes the dream work Face makes the dream work. Rude. Did you share the Nugs conversation with the uh, the 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 Twitch chat too? Oh, okay. Hold on, let me. I need people to understand what I have to put up with. Such a little mischievous raccoon giggle sometimes. Apparently my whole, apparently my whole sense of humor pretty much revolves around, ha ha, you thought I was going to make sense. <laughs> Why would I ever make that assumption about you at this point? <laughs> it's trust. Hi, trust. Yenny Hua. And Oh, hello. 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 We are being raided by two separate parties of five and six. That makes eleven. Wow. How that's did you as come many to that as number? one. That's as many as one ten plus one. <laughs> <sighs> I oh learned that goodness. in school. <laughs> you know what else you can learn in school? How to be a good little cog in our society. Yay. Anyway, how y'all you know, doing? You can learn how to listen for the bell and go to your station when it rings. 
Yay! Yay! Why did we line up at the end of recess? I never understood that. Why not just like have everyone file back into the classrooms? At well, because the they needed to make sure that nobody a nobody stayed outside and b nobody got lost and like just crossed the fence and left. Uh, all right. I'm just, I, I know that's a serious consideration, but I'm just imagining, I'm amusing myself by imagining some kid just being like, fuck it, I'm out. <laughs> I knew kids like that, though. <laughs> I mean, of course. Kids like that exist, hence they have to do that. Right. It's just very amusing to me. I went to a school, uh, an elementary school at one point, where not only did we have to line up a lot, but they insisted that, like, when we were standing on the the flooring with, like, the, the square pattern, we keep our feet completely within the squares. <laughs> like, step on a crack, break your mother's back kind of stuff? They were just, like, they were just, like, extremely, extremely, like, do not step a toe outside this line. Which is, wow, that's kind of a metaphor now that I think that, about it. That sounds uh -huh. like you have, a, <laughs> I would like to say, it might, sounds like you just have one teacher who's incredibly OCD. I would say it was just one, but it was more than one teacher that did that. Hmm. One or two like that. God. Well, I only I went to that school for, like, two years, you so. You buy anything for any purpose. If you ask, what was your favorite bit of PE equipment if you had it? Uh, uh, my favorite bit of PE equipment was the bell that rang, signaling the end of PE. Uh, either the foam balls that you could squash down really far, or the little caster carts. I liked, I mean, I, I kind of like playing soccer. Um, I can, uh, you know, I was pretty good at soccer when I was a kid. Uh, not like wow championship or anything, but I mean I, I was okay at it, so uh, I, I enjoyed that. So I guess maybe the soccer ball. <laughs> yeah, Simon Tesla also says caster scooters. I'm sticking with my answer, <clears throat> although I was not good at any other sports. So yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm a lover, not a soccer. <laughs> or if they would get out the um, the. Measuring cones for the the fitness gram pacer test. <laughs> I know that was a meme for a while, but like I remember doing that, and like I I think I did the best in my class at make, least a couple years. Did they make you guys write your names on your uh, on your shirts? Uh, no. Okay, that was just my school. I didn't. I didn't have any actual. You didn't have a name. <laughs> I didn't have actual PE clothes until, like, ninth grade. And then by that point, they had just printed printed them, one for each person. Oh, uh, okay. No, they yeah, they pretty much made us wear the PE uniforms, which is funny. Darkon because, says yeah. he hated those tests. I was... I liked running when I was younger, when I was healthier. Um, so I did a lot of... <laughs> Same thing. I, I did a lot of... The, did a lot of running stuff. I remember I did really good on the pacer test. I remember we did the mile, and I think we had to do like a twelve minute mile, and I did like something like eight and a half minute mile, which is like the it's like a mile run in eight and a half minutes. Sorry, go on. <laughs> that that's closer. That's almost the amount of time that you need to do in order to like pass boot camp. You know, I remember when we did the mile, there were like 10 students out of the whole batch who like, who were like, we're championship runners, five minutes, you know. And then like, and then there were a couple of like joggers after that kind of taking them. And then the rest of us did not give a shit and just sort of walked it and took like, you know, 20 minutes. <laughs> That's how I did it. <laughs> Same. I mean, I had asthma, so, you know. Uh, it's very, it's very strange to think about it, but I actually was a pretty short kid. <laughs> Um, my growth spurt came, like, way later. <laughs> I, I had very, I had my... skinny legs, skinny short legs. I remember my growth spurt specifically because I was growing so fast that I did not wear shoes for a summer. Because if I were to buy shoes that fit me, they would not fit me in a couple of weeks. Oh, <laughs> That's impressive. 
I had this weird period. I remember this. I was, um, I would have been been about 13 or so, where I had two different shoe sizes because one of my feet was apparently growing a little bit faster than the other one. And, like, I had, like, size, like, 10 on the left and then, like, size 10 and a half on the right. So mom had to buy, like, she she had to buy, like, extra pairs to make them match up. It was That's funny. It was. There was a, a business I read about, um... A while ago that was like I don't know if they still exist and I can't remember the name but the concept they were going for or part of the business model was like so everybody's very few people have um, feet that are like perfectly the same size so what they would do is they would send you three pairs of shoes you'd tell them like your standard size and they'd send you that size and then they'd send you another pair up and another pair down in that size and you'd try each shoe on individually on each foot and keep the two that fit properly and mail the others back (laughs) nice i found this a very fascinating idea but maybe it doesn't exist because (laughs) maybe that just didn't end up being a very viable business model (laughs) Or maybe it does still exist, and I just can't remember the name. I don't know. I haven't been able to find them again. Uh, I'm sorry. Friends. What was that now? <laughs> Try oh. straight up, straight up challenging. You. Man, Aroy is not having you. She uh, she don't like you. Yeah, I put the Nugs conversation on Twitter. Good. You monster. You Nug monster. Right. You're in the Nugster. Most devious villain ever to hit Gotham City. <laughs> To strangers, the cat kiss is like a maze. But I'd spent ten years tearing through these alleyways. I could have found my way to Tappy's in the dark. Nope.
<laughs> Tappy's place was a little museum to junk. Pots and boxes, spoons and hooks and pocket knives. And at the centre of it all was Tappy, grinning away like a skull in a bodysuit. Oh, that's a good, uh, good mental image there. <laughs> good descriptor. Mm -hmm. You don't know any respectable people. Respectable people are overrated. Problem is the respectable people have money. It's up to us to uh, relieve them of that burden. Oh, is this? Do I go to this guy if I want to sell something that I found? Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't feel like you would be able to sell stuff in this game because there's not really any place to buy stuff from. Yeah, that's a thing. So it might just be a. a another person you can show stuff to and be like hey you have any idea what this says and they're like i know this one word The end of a line of text. Yourself, shouts, dream. Ha. Huh. Dream. <clears throat> so we actually have no idea what this is. It looks a bit like the connector. Um... Okay, so wait. So this first one is also a sort of elemental thing because it has the two. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So nothing? Is this the element of nothing? Like void? Void, yes. Okay. Nothing. Um... It's like a singular. Changes you. Evolves? Life. What the hell's Aptor? <laughs> changes is a good bet, yeah. I yeah, I like, I like changes, because there's life, and then there's yourself. And I'm just yeah. like, is that, yeah, is that like evolve or grow or something?
that we can trade. Uh, yeah, I... No. <laughs> I have no idea if, if trading is worth it or not. I don't like it. Again, I don't trust... I, I mean, for the most part, I would just say don't do it because I don't trust Hoppy. As long as he's willing to show us the pieces anyway, we just need to read them. We don't care about actually having them in our hands. Mm. I just don't think so. Okay. For most of them, at least. The foil feels like it could have more on it. Whereas <clears> the tablet is just a tablet. It's just got some descriptions in it, and that's it. I have a bunch of other places to go, so. Let us hop away. I'm like Bernie. 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 Get it? Because Bernie. Bernie. I like Bernie. The Bonnie. The Bonnie. <laughs> Ooh, the bon I love the Bonnie. The bon <laughs> <laughs> Those rent free in our heads. Uh -huh. Yep. <laughs> of course, let me, to be fair, is there anything in our heads that does pay rent? <laughs> There's, you know, there you never think in my about head that, that should. I'm still waiting on the eviction notice from the judge. That's a bug. <laughs> It's like Jared Leto. Every everything about Jared Leto in my mind should either pay rent or get out. Is he like your arch enemy? He's 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 certainly climbing my list. Just like you just have to like clutch like like make a fist and shake it at the sky and be like Jared Leto. I should probably be annoyed about the Tron sequel with him, but I think my brain's just kind of checked out at this point and been like, okay, fine, whatever, it'll kill the franchise, and that's fine. <laughs> Couldn't only hope. I'm the one that's got me is him being in the, the upcoming Haunted Mansion movie. That really grates me. <laughs> You know what grinds my gears? Jared Leto. Just saying. <laughs> and it says, you know which one I randomly sometimes get is, Good morning, George. How are you? I hope you're feeling fine. I'd love to stay and talk, but it's almost 8 o'clock and I need to get to work on time. <laughs> Sounds like an excuse to me. Mythic, so she loves the strings in this game. Yeah, it's some very nice, like, sailing music. It really is. I'm so glad we can hear it now. Yeah. <laughs> it's a lot more, um... Somber than a lot of other games is, like, sailing music, but that fits the theme of this game, I think. Yeah, this is, this is the kind of stuff I chill to. In case anyone's ever wondered. Yo, Stoker, you wanna wild. you wanna ride the rivers and chill? Yes. You want some nugs? Yes, I do. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I'll I was already pipe. hungry, Jonas. <laughs> 
Here I am, I'm still making it a drug thing. I mean... Clearly I meant food. Yeah. Nugs. Jonas, just say no, no to Nugs. <laughs> <laughs> Be above the influence. Be above the nugs. Be above the nugs. I mean, or you can like float make, above them. Can make money on the nugs. Oh, there's an you could be a nug watching, dealer. <laughs> there's an interview I was watching where um, Snoop Dogg was talking about. It. They were like, "You roll your own joints," and he's like, "No, I have a guy for that." And they're like, "What?" He's like, "Yeah, I have a joint roller guy. I pay him." Seventy thousand dollars a year, and all he does is roll joints for me all day, every day. Damn, I'm in the wrong line of work. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you can get it, I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, but the secret is Snoop Dogg demands like perfectly, like they have to be like origami. No wasted no time. I mean, yeah. If, if I'm paying for, like, a home chef or something, it'd be the same thing. It's like, I don't want you to make me scrambled eggs in a bowl of cereal. I want you to be able to, like, make something good. If I'm paying you to roll my joints, they better be some real good-looking joints. Nice. What a time to be alive. Not yeah. So I think that that comma is with the second phrase. This is another uh. element, but it uses like this hook here that you see in knowledge. It's got yeah. knowledge. I think this yeah. is knowledge. Uh huh. Wait, what was the first word in this phrase? All knowledge and none. None. That's upstream. Right, let me go there. Fine. Keep to the left. So it says Stoker, acknowledge your comments. Wait, what, what did Boxes that? say? He said, it's Stoker. coming 2026 on a streaming service. Naked Penny starring Jared Leto. Finger said, I'm so excited for Jared Leto as Naked Penny to just go, it's naked time and go naked all over the bad guy. <laughs> I know you can't see my face right now. Oh, but we can hear it. Oh, we can hear but it. But I want it you delicious. to know that of all the faces I have ever made, this is the faciest one yet. <laughs> is it a goat face? Well, there I'll let is, you decide is... if that means a uh, four-legged animal with horns or a best of all time. There is a depth of face that is happening here right now <laughs> that defies any ability of me or anyone else to describe. Uh, there's a we in there. Ooh. 
we die, we die. Okay. When we die, we die together. Okay. Says, careful, knock on the devil's door too often, you might answer. Just like in Mario Maker! <laughs> yes, just like in your Mario Maker levels. <laughs> yes, just like when you, you make that Mario. But what do we make him do? We make him jump. When you make the Mario jump, and you, you make the Mario. Are you are you having a moment there, Miller? <laughs> oh, are you the... having a Mario moment? Having a bit of a uh, you know um, J James Nunn having a strong kind of moment. Okay, great. The Bames Nunn, James Nunn, I'm having a strong. <laughs> we have unusual conversations. sites I traveled to with the robot. Most of them seemed lost, abandoned. But this one, this one felt like it had been hidden. Uh, it's a place from the witness. <laughs> Gate, okay, I know what to do here. Grasp the bars, shake them violently, and scream, Let me in! Let me in! I'm innocent! By the handle. I love how her face is always just the embodiment of that, like, one eyebrow arched emoji. You mean she be spocking? Yeah, she be spocking. She's always like, come on, really? Really? I gotta put up with this shit? I'm hanging out with a robot and sailing around on some, you know, whimsical space clouds and, you know, I got out of this shit. <clears throat> <laughs> and she be sparking. Stuck on this legendary planet with all these, like, Bye. awesome landscape golf courses and just, I mean, what the hell. Ah, the legendary the golf course planet. Flooded the misty air. Uh, 
Okay, looking around. I love Six kind of freaking out when you go into the courtyard area because he's just like, no, stairs! Make her do sweet this! Yeah. <laughs> Insert Dalek joke here. <laughs> <clears throat> Jonas, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, what's he okay. doing? It's out of my system, I promise. What did he do? <laughs> I wasn't looking. He did. He did exclamation mark nugs in the chat. <sighs> Just to then have the robot reply, nugs is not a command. But it could be. It's not going to be. <laughs> <laughs> It's not Emperor. No, no, no. Because the 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 double comma thing before Emperor is part of that word Emperor. Whatever whatever word that needs to be. So it's not Emperor. Okay. I think. No, that'd definitely be Emperor. Okay, no, it did accept it. All right. See, I thought that double comma thing was like a prefix. No. Man. I guess it's a suffix here. Because there's negation in there, but it's uncertain. You're an uncertain negation. I would love. Well, if it's a negation, then it, yeah, it would be more like the Emperor could protect you. It's like 
Maybe or, or maybe there's not. A yeah, they ch there's a chance the Emperor will protect you, but I don't think that's really what... You I don't know. I feel like you would be more... hopeful in a scripture description like that. Let's go. Oh shit. It's the boss level. <laughs> I think we don't have enough uh, words in our vocabulary to break it up. Fair. But you can go back and like review it later in the journal, yeah. right? Okay. Oh boy, we found a cup. No, this is a fancy cup. Maybe. And is it uh, religious? Maybe even holy? I hope it's not a holy cup. It wouldn't be able to hold anything. Oh. That theory holds no water. But what if it was <laughs> like uh, a, a specific kind of cup, like a chalice, or no, a grail? The cup of a carpenter, perhaps? <laughs> Don't drink from the wrong one, or else you'll like melt with special effects and stuff. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Sometimes I enjoy how you just kind of halfway give up <laughs> when you're making these jokes. You're just like, eh. <laughs> puzzles and not linguistic puzzles, adventure game puzzles. Oh, that's a question for the chat and for all of us. What is your favorite kind of puzzle in games? Um, mathematical or optimization puzzle? I figured that. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, there it goes. Jeez. My oh, look at that. My health bar went down. Nice. I have a health bar apparently. <laughs> I always like special puzzles. That'll always be number one for me. Like Tetris, that kind of shit. But is Tetris a... facial puzzle, or is it an algorithmic puzzle? You could make an argument. Yeah, I've always thought of it as a special puzzle, but I do see your point. Box mm. says portals. Yeah. Portals puzzles were really good. Um, Stone markers huddled together. Jeez, what would be my favorite? Things about me. Don't you like 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 dating Sims where like you've got to like figure out what people you know like how to? Listen, I don't play that many of them. Yeah, only dating Sims. Okay, yes, only dating Sims. Thank you, Jonas. <laughs> That's it. It's the only kind of thing I ever play or ever have played. It's vampire dating sims. Okay, but listen, there is an interesting one coming out soon. <laughs> uh, that's inspired by um, Castlevania, and it's called, like, Romancelvania. Is it really called that? Yes, it is. Oh my god. I think you can date werewolves and stuff. 
so you know rick might also want that one on his radar i mean um, I wait this. is this related to like the brian david gilbert video about which castlevania monster no this is, is like this most... is this is unrelated this is its own thing wow you are mm -hmm. really serious that's funny did, did you think i was jesting jonas i mean the <laughs> Do you think I was playing with your heart? Oh my god, was that like a hot busty pumpkin? <laughs> I don't know if I've seen that character. You may have to send me that. Wow, that, wow. Okay, hold on. Let me just let me let me just, actually I'm gonna capture this and show it to the entire chat because Please do. Y'all need to see this. Wait, like a pumpkin person or like a uh uh what's the headless writer? No, here, Miller, let me just, let me, let me just, hold on. Let me just, uh, <laughs> let me just upload this. <laughs> you know it's good when Jonah starts doing that, that laugh. <laughs> here, here we go. I'm going to put it in chat, too. Um. <laughs> yep, that's just, uh, right. the... Okay, it's supposed to be a scarecrow. Back where I come from, that's what we call Jack and Lantern. <laughs> All right. Oh my god. <laughs> also, All me... right, break out the bopping. Come on. Hold on. Let me get a shot of the of the like the werewolf daddy type. Hang on a second. Let me um. This does not look like the game I was thinking of, though. There may be more than one of these in the works. No, hold on, hold on. I'll balance out the scary uh, buxom pumpkin with this guy. Hold on one second. Uh, the, uh, one of these will appeal to somebody. Yeah, which, which side of the Venn diagram are you on? Buxom pumpkin lady or... Werewolf Daddy. I think that we all know how the majority of the chat's gonna vote on this one. <laughs> oh, effigy, let's see. Um... Hmm. Excuse me. Uh, watch. I'm gonna just watch. Well, wait. Hold on. It's got the treasures. Um, yeah, I think it might reclaim, be reclaim. reclaim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like possession or something like that. Me. Um, river. Uh, if you're paying attention to the lore, when you die, you're supposed to be returned to the river. Okay. Yeah, you return to the loop. Fair enough. Yep, this is the one I was thinking of. The graphics just look different than I thought they would be. Huh. Okay. Sure, why not? Quickly. So now go. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and go. <clears throat> Excuse me.
This bridge doesn't look terribly stable either. <laughs> you should test it out. Can't unlock the door from this side. Yeah. She's just <laughs> like, I like the number of uh, ankles I have right now. I'd like the number to not change anytime soon. I could do with some more. Nah, I don't think I want any more ankles. Now extra knees. I'm in I'm in the market for that. Let's see. Okay, this has a lot of the parts of treasure in it. Uh efforts? No, 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 no. Um Oh, mm. this is culturally contextual. Okay. Um oh, what's that? Well, there's a no in there. Um, double, double negative. Um, uh, shit. <laughs> Maybe last. Uh, uh, um, labors. Work. That would. Mm, I would guess work, but. Shit. Oh, let's just try something. Maybe let's. I kind of want to say my for this one because it has me in it. But four is the next one, but maybe. Unless uh, it's wrong. Uh, last, maybe? I don't know. My. Okay, we are looking at a sundial here. Okay. Sleep. Here for tomorrow. You work. Yeah, yeah that works. I mean, no, that works conceptually. I, I'm... Let's see what she says. The air Nugs the should trigger the bird damp. transformation. What? Why? It because like Nugs. And Don't you get it? <laughs> oh. We're gonna email her. Cool. No, I. No. <laughs> How unfortunate. <laughs> no. Okay. No. No. Bob Stoker. Rick, can you <laughs> remove Stoker's mod stash so I can ban him in the chat? <laughs> <laughs> He's crossed the Band line. Ban me and I shall become more powerful than you can imagine. <laughs> and now you're Miller all along. All birds are just pre evolution chicken nuggets. How exactly. dare you? <laughs> wow, that's nuggets. very birdsist. <laughs> oh, what happened? Open the door from the other side. Oh, okay. See, now, now I'm wondering if there ever would be like a. Pokemon that like you you know the first one of the first Pokemon you meet in every area is like just a bird, mm -hmm. right? And I'm it's wondering birdie, if they'll yeah. ever have one that's like just a chicken and then it evolves into nuggets of some kind. <laughs> it just automatically like the 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 final evolution has like a carton with it somehow. <laughs> it's like far fetched, but even worse. Mm -hmm. That was a, a sound of suffering there, Miller. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many Pokemon now that do such stupid fucking things. The T one is terrible. The T one? The... There's a haunted tea uh, cup that evolves into a haunted teapot when you oh, give it the right. pot. That's right. Yeah. Well, I mean. I'm used to, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm used to. And then it's like it ridiculous. keeps, it keeps trying to like serve itself to people and make them drink part of itself, and it's like what? That's <laughs> probably kind of from like yokai kind of stuff. It's almost fetish. I, yeah, I it's mean, almost yeah, fetish. probably. There's the there's Drifloon, and then the Sandcastle are both existentially terrifying Miller's over here Miller's all like I only like the really jacked Pokemon that can hold me in their muzzles you know? I'm sorry what I don't know. 
I'm, 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 I'm mocking you. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. What happened? I think you got stuck in a corner and it unstuck you. It just oh, teleported just me it. somewhere back. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it's supposed to be over here. This place that that section does not seem very well <laughs> programmed for some reason. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think this place is? It's got a giant greenhouse with a ton of flowers inside. I don't know. Could be anything. <laughs> Just so much stuff all over the place. what my favorite Pokemon were. I just kind of like cool dragons or dragon-esque things. Like, like, like Dragon Eye the Cafe? Charizard. I remember I liked Groudon and Salamence. Um, I liked Metang. Mm. As far as cute factor, I'm real big on the evolutions, but as far as like actual beat the crap out of other other critters factor it's usually like Tyranitar or like Hayama or freaking Snorlax you know everybody loves the evolutions <laughs> and no I'm not going to mention the copy pasta right. nice did you know <laughs> yes Miller I did know. <laughs> but the egg groups, the egg groups. God damn. Oh, oh, we got, oh, we got. Uh, let's see. I saw. There's the of. I see the of at the end there. So the first, okay, so that first it's, word, didn't we see that earlier? Because we saw the, 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 right. the, like, water with the accent on it. Yeah. Was, like, the, the river, right? Here. Well, no, wait, wait. Yeah, so river. You have the word me just that. directly in that one. A little bit like river, but me heart. Okay, sure. No, if it's me, maybe that's Earl. R. Oh, oh, okay. So the hat's a plural marker. People. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. What a treasure. No, I think this word is still rests because I think this is for graves. I think we're basically yeah, no, marking I graves mean, with this. It's got part of the treasure compound in it. I'm not sure. Our emperor's great people. Like, I feel like it implies status of some sort, but all of value. I'm not sure. I mean, maybe. Okay. Stoker, do you like blood pops? Yeah, they're they're, they're bloodlicious. Just like Stoker. blood pop used to make. Stoker's like, I can wear it on my 
my ring finger and pretend I just got engaged by the richest man in the village. <laughs> Y'all are silly. <clears throat> oh, wide shot means something's gonna happen. The wind was strong up here. Or not. It wanted to grab you by the waist and chuck you down the cliff. Yep, she's gonna fall over the edge and die. End of game. Cool. Stuff. Any uh, words on the jiggies? Yeah, those. Oh, did you get zapped? I want to touch it. Touch them on your mind. Ah, oh, cheat. Those matches like point and click games where it's like I don't think that would do anything. I don't know why I want to do that. I don't want to do that. Like I would totally like mess with that. Like after a while, if he did the same thing like twenty times, you know, he'd be he, the the protagonist would say something else like, "What is wrong with you? I don't want to <laughs> do that." I'm sure there have been a few uh, a few of these games that have done stuff like that. <laughs> mm hmm. I at least know in Elden Ring, there's uh, one thing you can do where you get a doll at some point and you try to talk to it and nothing happens. And you try to talk to it and nothing happens. Then you try to talk to it and nothing happens. And then you try to talk to it and finally it talks back to you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you, have to, you have to select that option four times before something happens. Love it. And the first thing it says is, yeah, persistent one, aren't you? Love that. Love that for it. Oh. Again. I... I... I live, I die, I live again! This is getting tedious. <laughs> the living and dying and living again, not not the game itself. It was... Just so we're clear. Our game's actually fascinating. Um, mm -hmm. This is a very unique game. Or is he toward in there? Here. No, quickly. Mm 
away. From. Yeah. Ex loci. Oh, uh, Rick, it's after midnight. So it is. You know what else is after midnight, Jonas? My face. You don't know that I was going to say that. I mean, Fair. I was, but you don't know it for sure. I mean, slipstickly, I don't really know anything. Whoa. Just blew my mind, dude. How can I verify any of this external experience? Oh, we're, living, we're living in a simulation, man. Ugh. And even if we weren't, we aren't, man, because the things we understand are just our mind being able to filter the inputs from our senses. It's not the reality itself, man. In the Matrix, I know what's up. I long for werewolf boyfriend. Yeah, thank you. I speak for dad. Yeah. That's so I want to take this one up to the powered. It's
So it's somebody important. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Thank you. Okay. Okay, going back to the ship. Okay. All right. Okay. Yes. Very good. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you for okay. joining us on this continued adventure in this interesting wild world. Yeah. You just discovered that they uh, could record people and play them after death. It happens. Just everyday stuff. You know, I mean, that's just what a record player is, right? I mean, exactly. On, yeah. <laughs> All right. Catch you next time. Have a good, good night, night, everybody. Good night, everybody. We'll, we'll good night, be everyone. here. Bye bye.